Hello, hi everyone. Welcome you all to this interesting series of 30 days 30 interview challenge where we're going to prepare you for all the data analytics and data science interviews. And today is the day 11 of this challenge. Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss three questions that has been asked uh, in recent interviews by some of the candidates. And I thought that let's begin and let's uh, discuss them in this, in this session. So today we have three questions. The first question is simple. I have just loaded a data set containing house prices and I wanted a quick, I wanted a quick level overview of the numerical distribution, specifically the mean price, the standard division, the percentiles to check for outliers, which single function gives me this table and how can I enforce this to analyze non-numeric string column as well. So question is simple. The answer to this is df.describe. As we know that df.describe is a simple function that helps me to know the statistics of my data. Now, if you want to get the non-numeric columns as well, you have to simply write here df.describe and in this you can simply write include okay is equal to object that would give you that you that would give you the spring things in your uh, what do you say in your data. So that is how we solve the first question. Looks complex, so answer super easy. Second question, you have a loaded messy CSV file. You suspect that some columns look like numbers are actually stored as text and you are worried about missing null values. Which method provides a concise summary of the data types, the count of null value, non-null values for every column and the memory usage. So simple function, which we have discussed, which we are discussing in our classes as well. And this function is simple df.info. And this function does wonders for us because it gives me all the information with respect to the data type of each column, the number of null values and the memory usage with respect to the whole data. The third thing I have a data frame where the index is set to customer names and I want to set the row of a Jane, which is one of the customer and specifically just her email and phone numbers. How do I construct this query? Now we have discussed that whenever we have a set or index, to a customer name or to a custom index rather than a predefined index. We use the concept of df.lock and this would work perfectly fine. df.lock and under this, we would write simple thing. That is what we have. We have customer names. So I can write, we want Jane's information. So we can, we can write Jane and from Jane, what the columns do you want? We want two columns. One is email column and one is phone column. So I can write them in the form of list and I can mention them email comma phone. And that would work perfectly fine for this. And that's how you solve this three questions. I hope you enjoyed these three questions. We'll come back to the next series. Till then, have a great day. Thank you. Follow Cloudy ML for day 12.